there's a, just a couple other charts you wanted to look at here, Plan C, I believe. That yeah, we can go, we can go through the macro. Yeah, I can through them quickly here. So, because, yeah, we want to present both sides of it and kind of have, um, uh, which is what we do, right? We're, we're unbiased. Like, we're looking at the market. We have our own views long term, but we, uh, we definitely are aware of, of certain uh, points where we, we change our opinions, right? So, um, yeah, this is just one where I, I think it's, uh, it's interesting to note because I won't go into the details of the metric, but um, every time we've gone below the red line, um, basic, well, it's, it's to do with long-term holder capitulation. So what, once we drop below the red, um, at least the last four times, right, four for four, uh, we did have a capitulation in the price. And we've been downtrending towards this red line now for quite a long time since the beginning of last year when we peaked out. Um, but we do have quite a bit of room still before we hit the red and it is slowing down and starting to flatten out. So I'm just watching it to see because, yeah, if we do get a, uh, a spike down and go below the red, I would start to think, OK, we could actually see like, yeah, the, the, the extreme capitulations. Now, even with an extreme capitulation, I still don't think we go below my floor model, uh, which is basically uh, at twenty eight thousand. So uh, but yeah, it's just this is just what I'm watching in case. Um, uh it looks like it's going to reverse before we get to the red but it's mm. it's interesting because if we if we do go below it um, that could change my thesis but um yeah it's just another one i'm watching I, i'm watching so many of these different metrics to see like you know i have my have my personal opinions but i'm looking for reasons to change it all the time right so of course uh based on specific like li like lines in the sand you know if you have a metric where you can kind of get a line in the sand and say like okay I, you know if it, if it goes past here then i gotta reassess so um, that's what this one's about. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, no, I, I like that. And I do think, yeah, we're, we're decent amount above there right now. Um, each event that has, that's happened before, it's like, once it starts trending that way, like this one here is the only time that, like it V shaped off of that pretty good. And that was in that 2013, you know, kind of double top, uh, but significantly different cycle. Um, so it is similar to that. Look at 2011, look like at 2011, like just like straight, like capitulation, <laughs> like full out panic. That's when Mal Gox got hacked, right? Like I think around yep. that, that time range. So like it was just full out panic. I mean, if you look at what we're looking like, look at, look at the line we're looking at now. It's like it's slowly moving down kind of, but like starting to flat out. And look at 2011, just like full out just drop, like free fall. So yep. yeah, totally different. We're in a totally different time money. now. With, it was yep. true magical internet money. And like a lot of people, even in 2011, didn't really have much faith in bitcoin as a religion like the maxi pads have now 